know what? Let's make some coffee. <clears throat> yeah, so like I said, let's make some coffee. Uh, I just bought this Brentwood machine, so actually I'm just uh, I just want to make a quick tutorial on how to use it because I really had some troubles using it the first time. Uh, the manual didn't really tell me all that much, so uh, this is a quick how to use the Brentwood video, I guess. Uh, first things first, let's find out what you get and what you'll be needing. Of course, what you'll need is coffee beans. I got whole coffee beans which I grounded myself. These are the beans. Uh, they would smell really nice. I wish you could just eat them up. Uh, so these are the beans you'll be needing. Uh, I grounded them myself, like I said. Uh, I grounded them with a mortar, but before I did that, I put it into the blender, just to give me a head start. Uh, they came out rather nice. Uh, you get a stainless steel porter filter. A tempered glass carafe to fill the water in. It has the levels you'll be needing. I fill the water between the two and the four, uh, two and four servings because I'll be using a part of that water for frothing the milk. I already put the water into the, the coffee maker just to give it a head start. So the water is really hot right now. Um, what we need to do, we use the scoop to fill the porta filter. Uh, if you look closely, you'll see that there are markings in it, two servings and four servings. Uh, if you're, like you said, we're going to be making two uh, servings, which is enough for one person to be honest. And what I was doing wrong the first time, I wasn't really stamping the coffee beans into the porta filter. So you uh, use the, the second part of it to really uh, mush all the coffee to get really compact. So when the heat water uh, drops down to it, it'll take some time before it extracts the coffee into the, the carafe. A little bit more just to get it onto the serving. Yeah that's, yeah, that's good. So let's put this away. It has three locks. Remove, uh, it has three locks. Look for the locks. Slide it towards the lock. Put the carafe. And let's make the coffee. It's time to froth your milk. This is the frother. This is the frother and on the lever you will see the steamer sign. So you just switch it over, get it really steaming. Depends on how, how much uh, creaminess you, you want onto it. I think this is just about enough. Turn it off. And so you get your cream milk and you just fill the coffee into it. And that is your cappuccino. So that's how, that's our Brentwood machine. To be honest, if I could, I'd just return the machine because I'm not really satisfied with the frothing and the thickness of the coffee itself, how it extracts the co uh, from the coffee beans. But maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Maybe I just don't use the right beans. Uh, but that's how I use it after multiple efforts and this is my result so but yeah if you want high-end coffee then just go to the coffee shop right cheers thanks for watching